And joining us now to discuss the potential Israeli retaliation to the Iranian assault is Middle East expert Dr. Mordechai Kedal. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Iran attacked Israel in an unprecedented manner this week, directly from its own soil. Now the Israeli cabinet is contemplating how to respond, when to respond, if to respond. How do you assess Israel is likely to respond? What are the options on the table? Well, I'm not a prophet, and I don't know what goes on behind the scenes in the government. We'll see. However, uh, we should all bear in mind that Israel cannot and should not be viewed as a state which is afraid of anyone in the Middle East. Israel, it, it depends on its deterrence. And deterrence means that you are not afraid of anyone. And if you want to do something to anybody, you do it. Because you can. And this is actually the message which Israel should send to everyone, the Iranians included. So I guess the question now remains, if Israel wants to retaliate and how uh, in Iran, and one of the options was targeting the proxies, Hezbollah, the Houthis, Hamas. Uh, targeting the proxies is not really new, though, especially over the last six months. So will this kind of response, if they choose it, be strong enough, considering the 350 UAVs, crews, and ballistic missiles Iran launched at Israel? Well, as long as the proxies were acting against Israel, Israel has no excuse to act against Iran per se. Yet, since Iran launched from Iran, the more than 300, uh, 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 the, the drones and the missiles, including ballistic missiles, which are very dangerous, Israel has all the permission to, in the legitimacy, to retaliate against Iran as it is. It, now we don't have any more to look for the proxies, or of course, we do have an account, open account, especially with Hezbollah. But uh, uh, Israel now has all the legitimacy to work and to act decisively against Iran. And if Israel doesn't do it now, the only question, the question is how the Iranians will consider Israel. Will, cons will they consider Israel as a powerful country or as a soft country? And the uh, answer is very clear. Now, can Israel afford to just accept the successful interceptions and the failed attack on Iran's behalf and leave it at that, as many around the world are now suggesting? Meaning, can Israel afford not to strike back? Well, don't forget that the international support to Israel, as was demonstrated in the night between uh, Saturday and Sunday, uh, is an asset which Israel should uh, should work on having it forever. And Israel should not give up on the international uh, support which we got. Uh, this actually requires that Israel listens to its friends and allies, especially the Americans. Yet, Israel is not another star on the American flag. Israel should keep a large enough margin of independence in order to decide and to implement what Israel decides, regardless of what Americans think about this. And how has this direct Iranian attack from their own soil changed the equation between Iran and Israel? Well, definitely they show that they are not afraid of Israel. Because if they were, they wouldn't do such a thing. Israel has to teach them a lesson in order to retain and to restore the Israeli deterrence vis-a-vis -vis Iran. Now the question is, which kind of a lesson and when? Thank you very much, Waldechai Kedal. Thank you so much.